should jack behind a bit so you can put the uh, jack stands at the front. Just leave the jack here just in case uh, for safety measure. Okay, I forgot to take out the lug nuts. Just take the lug nuts cover out with a screwdriver. Usually this thing is too short, so I add this on. Okay, as long as it's as is off the ground, then it's enough. Make sure they didn't move. In this case is move. Just make sure when you're putting it back, this side faces inside. This brake caliper seems like it's made in Korea. It's a Mendo brand. And there seems to be no special tools needed to change the brake pads. So technically all you need is a 10mm and a 14mm. Then screwdrivers to pry stuff, a long bar to get leverage, and very important the brake grease and the tire wrench to turn the steering wheel without turning on the car just press it once and then you can turn then press it twice and you are done That's the perks of uh, working on a new car. So easy. Fourteen mm. Get a ten mm and loosen this. and everything then you can remove this so you can push this up okay, in order to hold this caliper up you can't 
you can't put it in this position you have to push it out and we hold on there and we need to take these pins out just pull it out it's just a retainer clip then if you are scared of dirty then just use a screwdriver and take it out try not to scratch the brake disc The brake disc looks to be in good condition so we don't need to skim it. As long as there's no ridge, it's not too deep, then we don't have to skim it. I mean for best performance you can skim it, but in this case it's just a normal anchor driving. There's no need to skim it. And this time, we are using Tresto Metallic Plus. It's a direct factory replacement. And look here, there should be more meat here. And look at this. So technically, it will stop better. But the main mating surface is still the same. We have to transfer this plate over here. Yep, just a snap on. For the other side, there's nothing to transfer over. Oh no, my cap is back. Now we have a problem. We have to push this pin back in. Only we can fit the newer pads because the newer pads are way, way, way more thicker. Look, it's a new pad, it's an old pad. To help this piston being pushed back in, we have to release some pressure in the holes. So, we open the brake reservoir cap. I mean, if it's loose, then it's fine. You don't have to open it back all the way. In order not to scratch the brake disc, we have to push. We have to use the old pads to cover it. So we actually need to leverage using something long and push this piston back in. In this case, we will use this to as leverage and then just leverage on the piston. If you can see, it's slowly going in. Just take it nice and slow don't have to push it very very hard let the uh, brake fluid do its thing okay now it's in but i think we can push it a bit more because the new pads are very very uh, thick and we need as much room as possible Okay, hopefully 
It's big enough now. It should be big enough. And before we put everything back, just make sure they are all smooth, nice and smooth, not crusty. But since we are here already, we are going to duplicate them. Oh no. And luckily, we took it out because all the oil is kind of worn. We can, we, then we can replace it. Let's wipe it off with a cloth. Wipe all the old ones so we can put in fresh new uh, brick. If you want to be very particular, you can spray the brick parts cleaner on it. Just make sure it's clean. And now we put in the brick grease. Brick grease are made of uh, silicone, synthetic silicone, so it doesn't eat into all the rubber. You shouldn't ever use anything other than silicone grease. Make sure it's enough but not too much because it will spill out and if it goes on your brick parts then you are doomed you can get this on Shopee or Lazada just search brick grease and there's a lot of uh, brands on it we will do the top part when we screw the bottom part back in ok great there's enough space to go in means our piston is compressed as much as possible get the 14mm bolt back in make sure it's aligned as you can see from how we unscrew the, the screw there is no need to be very very tight just make sure it's hand tightened once it's tight then just pull it up a few times ok that's all you need to do don't forget the retaining clips Well, if you forgot about it, I don't see any problem with it actually. If you have it, just put it on. Just slide it out a bit. Don't pull it all the way because you stress the uh, brake hose. Same as the bottom one, slide it out. Oh, this is even worse. This is so burnt already. Wipe it off. And then grease it plenty.
actually you can see the marker here so if it's aligned then we are doing it correct Let's go on to the other side. We need to take some out for the other side. Try to clean the place that you have touched before so we have a perfect mating surface. Well, I think that's a job well done. No seals are bent. If you want this pipe, just go to any exhaust shop and get one. Just make sure you get a stainless steel one so it doesn't rust in your car. put back all these covers done one side at least oh and when you are pushing the piston in just make sure the brake fluid is not coming out usually what I do is I use those shampoo bottles and pump some of the extra fluid out. Same go same goes to changing old fluids to new fluids.
Same as the other side. Remove the retainer peeps. Push it out. On the other side out. A long bar to get uh, a leverage. The stupid thing is the other side. This lip is at the bottom, and this one is at the top. So just see which one is uh, just see which one is flatter. Then you go in from the lip first. Then you slot it in to the smaller one. As you can see, luckily we took some of it out. Now it's overflowing. We still have to take more. Out. If some of the brick fluid came out, it's very bad for pain. So just clean it as soon as possible and as clean as possible. If you can't reach it, just buy a brick, uh, brick cleaner and it will dissolve it and evaporate very, very fast. See if there's not enough lubricant, you start varying out the metal.
No. I forgot this clip again. Let's slot it into these holes. Oh, I understand now. They are not retaining clips. They are spreading them apart so there's no unnecessary wear during non-breaking. That's neat. Fun fact, normally how you recognize your uh, brake pads are worn, super worn, is when this clip is riding on this. That is why when you are driving, you have the squeaking sound. And when you apply brakes, there's no sound. So usually if the pads are more than this, you, you still can use it a lot more. So the car has traveled about 55,000 km. It's actually my father's car. So he was complaining to me, he's going for long distance all the time, then he wants to change the backpacks. And when he was asking me about it, and I go and check, there's no third party pads at all. So I go and check around if there's any third party brake pads for uh, Proton X17 since my father actually called uh, the service center and asked if we can change the brake pads outside. He said can, then we go and search around my spare part shops, nobody has it. Then I remembered I actually talked to someone in FMP Auto which is um, the manufacturer for Chesto and uh, Bendix they are very known for the Bendix Metal King anyone that likes cars has actually heard about Bendix Metal King but the bad thing about Bendix Metal King is it's very bad at cold bite it's sometimes loud and very dusty uh, last but not least it wears down, it wears down the, the uh, break this a lot quicker, it's very, very aggressive. So, I so my friend found out there's another um, around a, a spritted driving kind of brake pads, it's called Tresto Advantage. Easier, we call it Tresto Blue. Um, it's around like me, uh, the, the Bendix Metal King but he has better coat bite maybe slightly not so good um, performance when it's very 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 hot Metal King is supposed to be very very good when it's very very hot so in this compromise I went to find Tresto Blue Advantage then sometimes it's very very hard to find any um, spare part shop that is carrying the, the brake pads itself so I emailed the 
FMP Auto, then the marketing girl actually told me they can find which one, which of the spare parts shop has my stock, then I can go get it. So almost every time I, when I need the brake pads, I will ask them to help me find one. Because usually spare parts shops don't like to bring, to, to take the brake pads because nobody really likes them. Because they are so, um, how to say, more to the spirited drivers. This time I got the Trestor Metallic Plus, which is the middle range. There's a lower range, then the top range called Trestor Blue Advantage. So you can call this Trestor Green actually, but the name is actually Metallic Plus. So the original pads, they do their job well, so. Honestly, there's no reason to upgrade, but if you want a peace of mind and you want to drive it slightly faster, it's highly recommended to get better brake pads. Other than better tires, brake pads are very, very important as well. So I chose this because my father is not a very spirited driver, so I'll just get the middle range, but slightly better than the original from Proton or, or, or should I say from Gili on every manufacturer there's a different type of way to bed in sometimes they don't even need to bed in because they have a special layer that beds in uh, oh well drive around and try to cool it down don't drive it too too aggressive all the time because if you cook the brake pads and brake this you won't get any better performance at all let's just drive normally let's try not to drive it uh, faster than 60 if we are done let's go for a cool down lap And we are done shooting this how to change X70 brake pads video. If you like it, please subscribe. Please give it a like. I think by next week, after the brake pads are getting a few cycles, few 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 town driving, city driving. By next week, we will have a video of a direct comparison between the original brake pads and the Trestor Metallic Plus. So stay tuned.